Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to talk about the 2016 Sport Trek 290 VIK. It's going to be a beautiful couples coach, has great uh, interior floor plan, you get nice theater seating, straight view to your 40 inch TV, but we'll get to all that in just a second. First let's go ahead and talk about some of the great benefits you get on the outside. One is we're going to start right up front and that's going to be your power tongue jack. This is going to alleviate you having to crank your unit up and down, super simple, just touch of a button and it go ahead and it'll go up for you go down it's also going to have a light on there and a light here for easy hookup and disconnect at night you're also going to have two propane tanks when you will get the cover that we don't have to see those unsightly buggers and also it's going to help protect it from the elements you get a beautiful uh, diamond plating on here. The nice thing about diamond plating is it's really going to protect your fiberglass. That way any kind of rocks or anything that uh, gets thrown up from your truck, just going to hit that diamond plating and not scratch up your fiberglass. As we start to move down the coach, I want to point out the pass-through storage. You get huge pass-through storage in here. Now you do have a LED light so you can see at night. Uh, the LED light's going to be out throughout the entire coach. They're great because of course they're going to use less energy and be nice and bright. Also in there next to the light, maybe a soft, there's going to be a black switch. What that switch does is underneath each of these jacks, as well as the stairwell, there's going to be a blue LED light. That's going to be great if you have to put your jacks down at night or helps you locate your camper and just looks really sharp at night too. And of course, make sure you don't trip up or down the stairs if you have to enter in the dark. If you take a look at the side of the coach, you'll see a nice large power awning goes down the entire length of the coach there. Uh, it's super simple, touch button rolls out, touch button rolls back in. You're also going to have your floodlight there and you'll have two speakers. Now those speakers are going to be controlled by our entertainment module inside. Uh, the great thing about that is it is going to be Bluetooth capable. So if you have either an iPod or cell phone, you can hook up to Bluetooth and you can go ahead and control your music from out here. Also, you're going to have three steps going into the coach. You get this nice, easy grab handle. Super simple. The step's going to be nice and low to the ground. The grab handle is going to go ahead and assist you as you uh, walk into the coach. Now, one of the other features I really love about Sport Trek, let me take a look at the back here. I'll show you in just a second. Uh, but first, I do want to point out uh, it does have hookup for a TV right here. The cable's going to be here. And then, of course, you'll have your electrical outlets here. But one of the things I just love is going to be this, and this is going to be your bike rack or storage tray. The wonderful thing about this, one, is it's not going to void your warranty to add it because it comes straight from the manufacturer. Two, in order to have this installed, they actually upgrade the entire frame at the manufacturer. So this is going to be an upgraded frame, which is going to be stronger, more durable, which is important when selecting a coach because you're going to want to make sure the coach is going to last as long as you want it. And also, it is going to be huck bolted on there again just to help add to that strength of the coach. Definitely a superior as far as uh, construction aspect. Uh, but of course this will drop down so like I mentioned you can have the bikes, anything else you want on there. And then underneath, this is a really great feature too, this is going to be your enclosed underbelly. So this wraps up behind the coach. Most of your manufacturers don't do that. Sport Trek wants to make sure you're going to keep everything out of there, everything from you know dirt and grime to critters and also it's going to help prevent any freezing because your underbelly is going to be uh, sealed off. Now you are going to have a ladder on the back. Advantage to that of course is you don't have to bring it with you um, and of course you can get up there for any kind of maintenance. So it's super simple. Uh, it is going to be a fully walkable roof. Just climb right up the ladder. Last but not least, before we head inside, I do want to point out here will be cable and satellite hookup. And also this unit is going to be prepped with the ZAMP uh, solar prep. So that way you can just plug in your ZAMP system, set it out in the sun, good to go, and you'll get that trickle charge on your battery. All right, folks, I know there's a ton of great features on the outside, but let's go take a look at the beautiful inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Sport Trek 290. Let's go ahead and start off on the freestanding table. I love what they've done. They have these beautifully designed chairs here. Your table will open up with an extra leaf so you have more space in case you do have additional guests. And then also one of the things I like, right here they have a nice easy system for travel. So the chairs can just lift up and off, but this will make sure that your chairs stay secure and that they're not going to fall around while you're driving. It's a lot simpler than using straps. 
Now one of the big highlights of this floor plan is going to be this right here, which is going to be your beautiful theater seating. Extremely plush, very comfortable, and then straight across we're going to have our entertainment center and TV. So that way you can sit here, you can kick back, relax, you know, maybe it's a rainy day, you want to enjoy a nice show or a movie, you can easily do that. You'll also have some cup holders here for any beverages of choice and a nice center island or center console there for all of your remotes. Along the back of the coach, they're going to have a couch here. You get uh, shelves on either side with electrical outlets. So if you have an iPad or phone or anything you need to charge, you can definitely do that. And again, sit on the coach and be able to, or on the couch and enjoy all your electronics. One of the other things I like is that Sport Trek makes all their own cushions, and they are all going to be reversible. So if you want the cloth side for extra pattern, you can do that, or you can flip it out and have your uh, your vinyl side here. That way. Maybe you have some grandkids or something coming over, you know, they're coming in from the beach, maybe they have ice cream, you don't want it to stain the furniture, not a problem, flip it around, you're good to go. This is going to be a jackknife sofa, so that will fold down into a bed in case you do have additional guests that are going to stay. Here's going to be your entertainment center, again, 40 inch TV, nice large TV, perfect for viewing in your theater seats or on the couch. This is going to be your multimedia center. Um, this is going to be Jensen, which when it comes to RVs is going to be one of the top name brands. And this is going to be a CD, DVD player with a radio as well. So again, pop a movie in there, appears right on the TV for you. And like I mentioned when we were outside, this is Bluetooth capable. So that way if you're outside, you can be connected to Bluetooth through your iPod or phone and still be able to control the music, whether you're listening to it in here or outdoors. Of course, you have some cubby holes there. And then we have our fireplace. Now the great thing about a fireplace is not only is it going to be beautiful, but it's also going to be functional. That's basically going to be like a giant electric space heater. So if you are camping and you don't want to uh, use up any propane, you want to take the chill off on the morning or late at night, not a problem, kick your fireplace on, it does a fantastic job. As we move into the kitchen, the kitchen is also going to be very well set up. One of the things that you have to have in today's kitchens and RVs is this right here and that's going to be a pantry. Very large pantry and I, I enjoy that they did adjustable shelving. That way you can adjust it to the size that you want it, whether you want you know, more space, less space, whether you want a trash can in the bottom there for an extra trash can, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Plenty of space, you're able to uh, go ahead and customize it to your liking. Of course, we'll have our microwave here. Nice big storage compartment right next to that. Our fully functional hood with the light and a fan. We have some excellent prep space here. Our three stove burner with our traditional oven. And then underneath, you're going to have a nice deep storage bin. The great thing about this drawer is it's going to be perfect if you have pots and pans. It's deep enough you can go ahead and fit them in there. Also, you have a lot extra space right here. Great place for cutting boards if you have uh, strainers, maybe a, a ninja blender, you know, whatever you want. Great place to tuck it away there. Now here's going to be our center island. This is going to be kind of the centerpiece of the kitchen. It has a lot of great features built into the island. One of them is going to be right on the side here. As we open this up, it has this hidden compartment. Here we get a couple of great shelves, excellent usable space. On the other side, that's going to open as well, but this space is going or this shelf is going to be removed and that's where your trash can is intended to go. That way it's nice and hidden, super easy access and it closes it off. Also in the counter, take a look at all this prep space. We have great prep space. We have our sink top covers here. We have a double bowl, 70-30 sink. Uh, you know, plenty of sp uh, room for doing dishes there. Nice high rise faucet on here. You're gonna have the stainless steel look to it. Drawer space, this is gonna fold out, giving you uh, our uh, tray there. Again, great, great space. Plenty of drawers here and we're going to have an additional shelf area here. As we move to the end, um, right here we're going to have our fridge freezer combo. This will be our Norcold 
fridge and freezer. Very large fri fridge and freezer, plenty of space here. This will have automatic switch over, so you can have it running on propane. As soon as you hook up to shore power, it will switch over for you. Also, one of the things I like about the Norcold fridge and freezer is you can ha have your adjustment for how cold you want it right on the front, nice and easy. Also built into the handles right here is going to be a lock. The great thing about this lock is that if you are going to store it for the for the season, you just put this lock out, then this will make sure it stays open a little bit so it's still going to breathe and you're not gonna have to worry about having any additional clips because it is built in for you. Up front, great space here. You do have a plug-in, so this is a perfect spot for a coffee maker. Again, maybe you want a blender. Uh, I didn't show you on our center island, but that has a couple plug-ins as well. Great countertop space, uh, or um, storage space up top here. We have our lights. One of the things I do wanna make mention of, the lights in here, okay, if you look, these are gonna be LED lights. So we have LED lights throughout the entire coach. That way it's going to help save you power, and they just look a lot nicer. Also underneath, we have excellent storage space there. All right, folks, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the front of the coach. I'll show you the bathroom and bedroom. In the bathroom of the 290, we have this beautiful medicine cabinet with a mirror, and then we'll have good space behind that. Underneath, we have great countertop space. This is something a lot of times it's tough to find in bathrooms, but plenty of countertop space. Nice big bowl makes it easy to brush your teeth and everything else you have to uh, do in the bathroom here. Electrical outlet. Then your tank monitoring panel is going to be here as well. Underneath our sink also, we're going to have some added storage space. One of the other things I love about the bathrooms in the sport truck is going to be the shower. They use this wonderful shower door system that just slides right open. It's a nice big shower, plenty of space. You have shelves, you get the skylight, you have the hand wand, everything you're going to need. And these doors, because the way they open and shut, make sure that all the water is going to stay in the shower pan and not leak out onto the floor. Now, if the storage underneath the sink wasn't enough, that's okay because we have a huge linen closet. Look at this, you have a ton of space, you have a great room here, excellent place for towels, everything else you're gonna need. Then last but not least, in the corner, we're gonna have our stool, that way it provides plenty of leg room all the way around. Now, we do have two doors to the bathroom, one that's gonna be for public access, and the other, of course, which is going to be to go into your bedroom. In the bedroom of the 290, couple great features. On both sides, you're gonna get very large hanging wardrobes. So that way, any kind of shirts or anything you need to hang up, you can easily do so. Also, up along the top, you have great storage space here as well. You'll have two of those bins. Of course, you're gonna have nice reading light here in bed, your handmade headboard there, queen size bed. Now, one of the things that Adventure RV does with the Sport Trek is this right here, this foam block. The purpose of this, the bed itself is going to be about four inches short, so that way you get easy access to walk around the bed. When you are ready for bedtime, all you have to do, you just pull this bed down a little ways, that foam block goes into the headboard, and then you get a full residential size queen bed. That way, if you're you know, a, a taller person, you can easily sleep on it, but that's gonna be a great feature that they go ahead and throw that in for you. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, this is a Sport Trek 290 VIK. This is a 2016. It's a wonderful couple's floor plan. You have the beautiful theater seating, the nice 40 inch TV, couch along the back, great for entertaining. That galley is absolutely to die for. If you do have any questions, please either give myself, Ian Baker, a call, or you can go ahead and leave a comment on the video and I'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks, and I hope you have a great camping season.